Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the greatest common factor. The topics we're going to cover are how to find the greatest common factor, how to reduce fractions with the greatest common factor, and then I'm going to teach you a shortcut how to reduce fractions in an easy and fast way. Let's start. First, anytime you see the word greatest common factor or the greatest common divisor, it is the same thing because factor is also called a, a divisor. Now, the greatest common factor or the greatest common divisor can be used to reduce fraction. A lot of students ask me, when would I be using this? When would I be needing this? Well, today you're gonna learn why the greatest common factor is so important. Let's start. All right, so how do I find the greatest common factor between 12 and 18? Look how easy it is. Remember, in the other lesson, we remember, actually we learned that the factors of a number are any integer that I can divide 12 evenly. That means that the factors of 12 are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and then 12. Then I can go ahead and find out the factors of 12. I'm sorry, the factors of 18, which are all the numbers that I can divide 18 evenly. That means that is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Once I figured out the factors of 12 and the factors of 18, I can go ahead and find out and find the greatest, actually the common factors first. What are the common factors? 1, 2, 3, and 6. But remember, I want the greatest common factor between all of these guys. Which one is the greatest? I hope you say 6. So the greatest common factors of 12 and 18 is actually 6. Let's do another one. Let's figure out the greatest common factor of 27 and 30. The factors of 27 are 1, 3, 9, and 27. The factors of 30 are going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Now we need to figure out the common factors between 27 and 30. All right. As you can see here, the only common factors are going to be 1 and 3. Now, we need to figure out the greatest common factor. Well, I hope you say that it was 3. Let's do another one. Find the greatest common factor of 25 and 40. Again, you need to figure out the factors of 25. The only factors of 25 are going to be 1, 5, and 25. The factors of 40 are going to be 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Now we're going to figure out the common factors. And the greatest common factor is going to be 5. As you can see here, the only common factor they have is 5. Therefore, that is the only greatest common factor. Let's go ahead and practice. Now, when can I use the greatest common factor? Let's say that they give me a fraction, like 12 and 18. You remember before that the greatest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6. That means that I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 6. Now that I divide them by 6, I get that 12 divided by 6 is 2, 18 divided by 6 is 3. Therefore, 12 over 18 is the same as 2 over 3. Beautiful. Let's do another one. What about 15 over 45? Well, first let's figure it out the greatest common factor between both of those numbers. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. The factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and 45. I can now see that the greatest common factor is going to be 15. Therefore, since this is the greatest common factor, I can divide both sides by 15. And I get that 15 divided by 15 is 1, and 45 divided by 15 is going to be 3. Now you tell me, how do I reduce this following fraction? What is the greatest common factor between 14 and 21? All right, I do the factors of 14, I do the factors of 21, and I can figure it out that the greatest common factor is 7. By dividing 14 by 7, I get 2, and by dividing 25 by 7, I get 3. Now, can I figure out a shortcut to reduce fractions? And the answer is yes. I like to do it this way. I know that 16 is equals to 8 times 2. And I know that 24 is equals to 8 times 3. So then what I do, I just cancel out the 8 and then I get 2 over 3. Let's do another one. 
What about 42 and 120? Well, I can figure it out easily here that 42 is equal to 6 times 7. 120 is equal to 6 times 20. As you can see here, I'm just figuring out like common factors between 42 and 120. That way I can go ahead and eliminate them. Then I see that 7 over 20 is my final answer. Can I do more? And the answer is no, because remember, Whatever I do in the denominator or the numerator has to be done on both sides. So since 7 and 20 do not, do not have any other common factors, that's my final answer. What about this guy? Well, first I can get rid of the zeros. Now I have 25 over 45. Now I remember that 25 is equals to 5 times 5 and 45 is equals to 5 times 9. Then I get rid of my 5 and my final answer is going to be 5 over 9. Let's go ahead and recap. The greatest common factor is a great tool to reduce fractions. You can always use this shortcut to reduce fractions in its lowest term. That has been everything for today. I hope you learned a lot and again thanks for learning.